Well, Julian, thanks for coming by. It's great to see you again. Great and Ham Radio you. Outlet. And, um, okay, we could talk about the new antenna. Uh, this one is new for the Dayton Hamvention, Xenia Hamvention. And uh, this is designed, this is a bold statement now, Julian, but this is designed to be the best ever loaded monopole antenna for either 10 meters or CB. They're actually very similar, but the 10 meter one, the whip has actually been uh, cut, pre-cut for the user, so they don't have to do that. So, like I said, that's a pretty bold comment, but for what you, what you know already, in my design of the antennas, all of the matching is done within the construct of the antenna itself. So the efficiency goes up. The amount of power that goes in comes out. Um, there's less resistive loss uh, that you see on other matching circuits. Uh, very much because I use, notice this, a spiral coil. Again, spiral, just like the VHF UHF antennas. For the same length, you get greater inductance from a spiral and greater interwind capacitance. So at the end of the day, you have less resistive loss and your magnetic field is not grounded out. Okay, so you've increased efficiency. The other thing that you get here is you get an elliptical polarization. And what that does in your multi-path environment is it decreases that terrible flutter that you can get from other antennas and smooths that out. So at the end of the day, it's a standard 3H24 CB uh, hamstick kind of mount. It's absolutely USA made. And um, can't say anything more about it. There are videos of people using it already. They're absolutely enthralled by it. Oh, uh, uh, the um, ARRL uh, QST is going to have a uh, release on this new product. Uh, they might even be doing a review. But like I say, there are already videos on it. My name is Tim. I'm the uh, chairman of the special event committee for uh, Hamvention this year. And uh, we're here to talk about the compact antenna uh, designed by Dr. Nielsen. And, uh, I'd like to show it to you and uh, talk about some of the good things it does. And this is the special event station. We have uh, four stations this year. This is a 9700 that was uh, generously donated by ICOM, as all of these are. Over here we have the uh, Elite of the Fleet, the 7760, and everybody's been enjoying working that. The radio itself, the RF unit, is about a quarter mile away in the 4H building and is working the big Yagi antenna. We're working 40 through uh, 10 meters over there, and it's working flawlessly. Everybody's loving it. I have my personal computer, which is operating remotely, a 7610 donated by ICOM, which is also over at the 4H building. And I, it's uh, like playing with a computer, but it's, uh, it's operating the radio flawlessly. It's the uh, first time I've ever done that, and it's, it's, it's amazing me and everybody else who plays with it. And then we have the standard 7300 that uh, everybody likes. And uh, we have it hooked up to a uh, MA5B on a uh, U.S. tower mast just outside the station. And uh, it's working well, as well. And uh, here we have a, uh, a van that's owned by the uh, assistant chair of the special event station, uh, who graciously lent us his van and the U.S. tower uh, crank up antenna. It's up uh, about 31 feet and at the very top we have the uh, compact antenna on the uh, radial uh, ground plane system. It's working uh, wonderfully. We can contact stations uh, uh, three or four counties away.